All right, guys, we are back with another balance change episode, and this time the balance changes just completely suck. They are so lackluster. There's nothing to look forward to. It's just all around bad. So let's start off with the first brawler, Mo. He's getting a projectile speed like nerf. It's pretty significant. I'm pretty sure this brawler is going to be dead by the time this um, balance change rolls out. So. Here he got nerfed before, and on top of that, he's getting an attack damage uh, nerf as well. So yeah, this brawler, I think he's gonna be dead. Like, he already got nerfed before, and he's getting double nerf this time, and that projectile speed nerf is no joke, so you're really gonna have to be close to your enemies if you wanna shoot your, your shot and, and get it to hit things, but yeah, I just, not a fun brawler to play anymore. Uh, definitely not gonna be using this Mo, and yeah, so. There we go, another dead brawler that's just to be kept under the rugs for eternity. So next we got Kenji. His star power shield is being reduced. This shield straight up power crept Fang star power that gives him a shield. <laughs> like, I don't know what Brawl Stars is thinking. They have no original ideas anymore. They just copy and paste things and make them stronger or weaker than other star powers. That's just how they roll now. So this thing's being nerfed to 60% from 90%. And on top of that, uh, Kenji is also getting a supercharge, um, super reduced by 35%. So, uh, it took me a little bit to understand it. So I think when he uses a super, his super charge rate is getting reduced by 35%. So only his super charge rate from a super is getting reduced, I think. Um, is that what I'm understanding? It's kind of weird, like reading that, but, um, uh, anyway. So that should nerf him, like, quite a bit. So even if he hit a lot of people with that hard hit attack, it is gonna do like little help with getting your super back. So yeah, th there's another Kenji nerf. Here he got his gadget nerfed. So another brawler is gonna be dead pretty soon. But I think he will kind of be okay above average at the very least because he does have life steal. He does have a fast recharge rate. He does deal quite a bit of damage. So I think he'll still be okay, but he's definitely not gonna be OP anymore and he already took a big hit from his gadget nerf. So next we got Larry. This guy gets nerfed every single update, man. I swear to God. I haven't even used this brawler because he gets nerfed every single update. So he's getting a health nerf health nerf, nothing else to really say about that. I mean just another nerf for this guy. Um Well yeah. Then we got Sir, she's getting a hypercharge nerf. This thing is pretty significant. It's like five extra shots to get your hypercharge. So I really do not like the concept of hypercharges, dude. They can only use like one or two at most every game, and some brawlers get more than others. It's just all over the place. I really don't like it, and I hate how they keep nerfing the hypercharge as soon as they release them, like the next update. Like, the average player can't even unlock these hypercharges, and they're just balancing these things left and right. Like, how many people actually use these things, too, so they can make a, a proper balance change? Like, these things are highly inaccessible for free to play players and any other player in the game. This is just absurd. So they nerf things that pretty much nobody has gotten a chance to play with. And yeah, just the whole hypercharge concept, man. I got I freaking hate it. And then we got Gale, his supercharge rate reduced again. Um, well, I don't know if again, I forgot his last balance change, but Gale, I think he had, um, he was doing like double damage or something with a supercharge. He, he was doing something insane with the super. But now he's bring he's being brung back down to just a lame brawler as always, yeah. So not much else to say about that. And then we got Charlie getting a small attack buff, which I mean she got her range nerfed. That's like the worst nerf you can do to a brawler. Uh, and the next worst nerf is like I don't know a speed nerf, a walk nerf, like how fast they can walk, or projectile speed like Mo. That's a pretty bad nerf as well. So Charlie, uh, a tiny, tiny buff. It's not gonna help her. So now we got other changes like Frank, he's getting his damage reduced. So here we go, this is like the freaking domino effect. So you give Frank this new buff where he can hit faster, but now you're nerfing all the buffs you gave him over time because he was such a bad brawler. So you nerf his star powers, you nerf his gadget, you nerf his health. God, you're nerfing every single fucking thing on Frank, man. Like Brawl Stars, the developers always do this, dude. They always nerf shit when they buff one thing, and it's just a whole catastrophe. Like, Frank is all over the place now. He's literally getting his entire kit nerfed 
left and right. Health, damage, star power, everything, man. It is freaking ridiculous. So, God, it's just so annoying how they balance these things. They don't really think them through, man. And then we got um, Ash. He's getting a buff. He's getting a rage. Rage from getting hit increased with 20%. So, I mean, it's it's it was like how he was before. But then they made it more so he has to hit people so he can get rage instead of getting hit. I don't know. Maybe it'll make him a little better. He's still a little sluggish. But we'll see if this increases his versatility. Uh, this is actually the biggest buff in this whole balance change list, which is pretty sad. So, the next two buffs are just really lame. Spike and Brock health nerf. Like, the laziest buff you can possibly give a brawler. Just, oh, okay, we'll just give him health. Uh, uh, health. Oh, did I say nerf? I meant buff. My bad. A health buff. Just the laziest buff you can give a brawler. Just, oh, just slap more health onto them. They'll be fine. Just, it's just a waste of time. Just a waste of space, man. Why, why do you guys even bother? Like, might as well not do anything. Anyway. We got last one, which is Clan C. So now, his main attack damage all changes from 600 to level 1, 700 level 2, 800 level 3. It used to be 800 all level. So there's a nerf. This guy's getting nerfed. And also, the super damage reduced from 760 to 700. So Clan C's getting nerfed again. He still has absurd speed on his third stage. And this guy, like, just sucks again. Like, not again, but he, he just, just getting lower and lower he's just these brawlers man they make them so op and then they just keep nerfing and nerfing and nerfing and nerfing and nerfing it's like never ending man like look larry larry or larry whatever his fucking name is he's still getting nerfed to this day and he released months ago like god these developers god they suck ass dude so in total we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven brawlers being changed like guys we got 80 brawlers in this game and only 11, uh, 11 of them are being changed. That is pretty stupid. And two of the changes are like so stupid. Like just a health buff. Like come on. It's like pretty much nothing. So let me know what you guys think. Like what do you think of these balance changes? I think these are the worst balance changes we've received in a super long time. There's no new brawlers to like play around with. No new brawlers got a buff that's worthy enough to be like, okay, I'm gonna go have fun with this brawler. Like, like everyone is being brung back down there's no fun brawlers to play i guess ash is the most exciting he got the best change but everyone else all the buffs are like terrible and um the, the nerfs are just never ending with these things and they nerf hypercharges which nobody has and like i don't know how they even think about nerfing these things and nobody's using them it's just a whole mess and i think these are the worst balance changes in a while and um well there's not much else to say like 11 changes for 80 brawlers uh, when there's 80 brawlers in a game it's just terrible so that's gonna be it let me know what you guys think and i'll see you in the next balance change episode or whatever brawl stars episode i upload next